for example, I have this scene and I want to have my final render. This software is very easy. <clears throat> you can turn the ray tracing, it means the final render directly in viewport, or you can uh, render it with your own customized settings here. We have two tab, home, design and render. Going to the render, here is actual size of fit to screen for your render here. It's not your own, it's not your final output size. This is a real time render, ray tracing is the final render. I don't have a GPU support here, sorry for that. If you have, you can turn it on if you want. Or you can choose the CPU treat if you want. And the preset, the samples, noise level, the maximum tires or noise level, denoising output. Of course, if you have a displacement map, you have to turn it on. And the resolution of the, your uh, image to full, of course. Preset, if you want to have a high, as you can see, we have more sample. If we have more sample, we have more pixel and more pixel become more quality high or ultra you can use it and as you can see it's very easy you can use these settings for better quality of it's very simple or you can customize that for example for a medium as you can see we have a uh, lowest sample level of no denoising a two for high as you can see the noise level is increasing here and we have lots of sample that's it don't worry about them just you can select your preset or if you want you can have more uh, level noise it's very simple it takes you uh, a lower number uh, has more time. It tells you a lower number has a less number. Uh, be careful about that. You can go in your mouse over that and see the explain. And use the preset if you want. I use a medium for nice render, fast render. <clears throat> From here, you can ex export. Uh, two camera that we have or you can override camera size you can turn it on and this is a full HD you can give your own size that you want here you can rename it and you can save it on a desktop or anywhere that you want and here is the interesting part you can export it as a PSD it gives you a lot of layer it render and here is estimating time and finally give you render why is this happened because my screen is full hd but uh, my background uh, has a different size the background image that i give the software that's nice it's calculating time and as you can see, it tells you it's actually like 10 minutes take to render. And I'm waiting to the render because I want to give it this to Photoshop. In this case, I cancel it and uh, render it to the viewport of the camera. Don't overwrite it. And render it again and it just render viewport camera without the uh, background you can cancel it at any time that you want or you can just render the camera this and render this is the size of your viewport and now it's correct Okay, now we can see it's done and we have very nice uh, 
render and then you can import it in photoshop and now you can see the power of the stager here in the photoshop you can turn on or off any layer background or anything that you want shadows and here you can turn on or off the layers nice depth of fields and you can do everything any post projecting after that in photoshop nice hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release